everybody, I'm Mrs. K from the Arcadia Public Library. This is Family Storytime Adventures. My theme today is Lost and Found. So let's go ahead and sing our hello song and then we'll jump right in with our first story. Today we're gonna to sing a new song, it goes like this. We're all here today, we're all here today. Let's clap our hands and sing together, hip, hip, hooray. You wanna sing that with me? Sing it really, really softly for the first time, okay? Ready? We're all here today. Let's clap our hands and sing together. Hip, hip, hooray. Okay, one more time. We're going to sing it really loud so you get all excited for story time, okay? Ready? We're all here today. We're all here today. Let's clap our hands and sing together. Hip, hip, hooray. Good job. Okay, our first story today is called Bear Feel Scared. This is by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. And I'm reading to you today with permission from Simon & Schuster. Bear feels scared. In the deep dark woods by the strawberry veil, a big bear lumbers down a small crooked trail. Bear's tummy growls as he looks for a snack. But it's cold, 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 so the bear turns back. I think I would turn back too if it was so cold. Burr. He is not home yet when the sun starts to set and the bear feels scared. Would you feel scared if you were outside alone in the dark? I think I might. Bear shakes and he shivers as a storm starts to howl, Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? Ooh, this is getting scarier and scarier. Down the path gets dimmer and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro and he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, poor me. And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor lost bear. It is late, Mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. Shouldn't bear be home? Where is he? Wren tweets from his perch. We must all go search. What if Bear feels scared? Well, that's nice. They want to go help their friend, huh? Ooh, but they have to bundle up, huh? It's cold. The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend, Bear. But Bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. There's a noise in the forest and he feels big fears. Bear trembles in the wind, how he longs for a friend, and the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp and he shouts, let's go. All the birds search high while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through the wild, wet weather. They're very brave going out to look for their friend, huh? They call, Ho Bear, are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. But he perks up his ears is it Mole calling out? And is that Hare's voice? Does Bear hear him shout? Wren, Owl, and Raven all squawk from the sky. It is Bear, he is there. And they sigh big sighs. Oh, they found him. By a tree waits Bear 10 feet, 10 feet from his lair. And the Bear looks scared. With a flap and a flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him big hugs 
and they calm Bear's fears. Oh, that's so nice. He feels better now, huh? Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night, and the bear feels safe. The end. What a nice, happy ending, huh? Let's take a quick break and sing a song that I think you all know. This is Bingo. Can you guys say the letters with me? B, I, N, G, O. We have our doggy up here to remind you that Bingo is a dog, right? Okay, so in this song, this goes with our lost and found theme because we lose a letter each first, right? First we're going to lose the B and then the I and so on until we don't have any more letters and we're going to replace them <clears throat> with a clap, okay? Let's start off by singing all of our letters. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name, oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. Now let's take our B away and it's gonna, we're gonna replace it with a clap, okay? There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name, oh. I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. Okay, we're gonna get rid of our I, and we're gonna have two claps. Okay, let's sing a little bit faster, okay? There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name, oh. N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name, oh. Geo, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. Okay, we're gonna do four claps now, ready? There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name, oh. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. <clears throat> okay, this time we're gonna clap all five letters say really softly, okay? Ready? There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name, oh. And bingo was his name, oh. Good job, guys. My second story today is called Antoinette. It's by Kelly DiPuccio and it's illustrated by Christian Robinson and I'm reading today with permission from Simon and Schuster. Antoinette. Mrs. Bulldog watched her puppies race through the yard. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Here they come again. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Busy, aren't they? And ridiculously cute. But please don't tell them that. Mrs. Bulldog knew, as mothers do, that each of her puppies was special. Rocky was clever, outstanding. Ricky was fast, superb. Bruno was strong, ooh, impressive. See how he's lifting up that whole couch, even with Antoinette on it? And Antoinette, question mark? Well, unlike her burly brothers, she still didn't quite, she still hadn't quite discovered what she was good at. Chin up, barked her mother. You have something extra special. I can feel it in my bones. Antoinette was not so sure. Every day the family went to the park to play their, with their doggy friends, Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Antoinette was fond of Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and especially Gaston. There was much to chase after in the park, biscuits, balls, Butterflies. Oh boy, there seems to be a problem. Look at that. I think that's ooh la la chasing a butterfly. She's saying yip, yip, yip. A puppy is missing, Mrs. Bulldog announced. The pups gathered around. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette, followed by Fifi, Fufu, and Gaston. Where is ooh la la? Mrs. Poodle asked frantically. Mrs. Bulldog comforted her friend. 
We will find her, she insisted. Rocky was clever, and he tracked paw prints in the mud. No ooh la la. Ricky was fast, and he raced around the lake in no time at all. No ooh la la. Bruno was strong, and he left no stone unturned. Still, no ooh la la. Mrs. Poodle cried out in desperation, Whatever shall we do? In that moment, Antoinette felt a tug in her heart and a twitch in her nose. She could not, would not give up. Antoinette sniffed sidewalks and street vendors and signposts. The fearless pup dodged buggies and bicycles and broomsticks. Not even a loud, hungry garbage truck could slow her down. When the parade of dogs approached the entrance to the city's museum, Antoinette began to yap loudly. Yap, 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 yap. No dogs allowed, the guard said gruffly, pointing to the sign. See the sign? The little picture of a dog with a crossed out. You think, uh, do you think Antoinette cares about the sign? Let's see. But Antoinette was unstoppable. She ran circles around the guard, dashed through the doors, and raced down a long corridor. Antoinette burst through the crowd just in time to save Ulala la from a perilous fall. Oh, look. Ulala la was still chasing the butterfly, huh? And that person says, très bien, which means very good in French. Would you like to see that again? This is like a slow motion of Antoinette saving ooh la la. <laughs> well done, Antoinette. Merci, merci, Mrs. Poodle said, panting happily. That means thank you, thank you. You found my ooh la la. Mrs. Bulldog was beaming with pride. You were remarkably brave, she said to her daughter with a wink. Antoinette smiled. Gaston smiled, too. And many years later, while Antoinette and Gaston were raising a busy family of their own, Antoinette followed her heart and her nose and became one of the most famous police dogs ever to patrol the streets of Paris. Look, it looks like they made a statue of her, huh? She must have been very famous. The end. For this next activity, you'll need a scarf. If you don't have a scarf, you could use a small piece of clothing or perhaps a towel or a washcloth. We're gonna say the nursery rhyme, Little Bo Peep. It goes like this. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. And the fun part of doing this rhyme is that we get to hide our scarf somewhere and your child Parents, your child can hide at a different place as many times as you want to play the game. So let's give it a try. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Let's try it one more time. Where else can we hide our scarf? Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Okay, that's it for today. Let's uh, say a little goodbye poem. It goes like this. This is good morning, like the sun. And this is good night. This is a bunny rabbit. And this is a bird in flight. This means I love you and you are my friend. This means I'll miss you. So come back again. Hope to see you next time. Bye everybody.